Hello readers! Have you ever tried traveling with your book and it ends up looking like this? Me too. I kind of hate traveling with books because of this. So I wanted to give you a solution to this problem that you may or may not have already heard of. I actually just discovered this myself last year, so I'm sure there's still people out there who haven't heard of book sleeves and where you can get them and what they look like. I did do a search on YouTube in regards to how to protect your books, and most of the solutions I found suggested covering it with contact paper, but you wouldn't want to do that to books that you're reading, hard covers or just beautiful covers in general. Why would you want to cover them with contact paper? I get that it would protect it, but do you really want to ruin the cover? I don't think so. So sometime last year while traveling to a book event with For the Love of Books and Reading and Brunette Biblio and the Aori books, I saw that they brought with them book sleeves and they were pretty cool looking. The one that For the Love of Books and Reading had was like Pride and Prejudice themed. She told me that she had quite a few of them and that they all looked different. Book sleeves generally run for about 20 US dollars or so. So I jumped on Etsy and I set out to buy my Myself one. They come in all sorts of different styles. Some are bigger than others and some have pockets. So it's really going to be up to you which one you want. While on Etsy I found Story Hero and that's where I ended up getting my first book sleeve and this is what it looked like. So as you can see this one has a pocket in the front and it has a quote from Harry Potter which says happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. And then the back has like Harry Potter print and you open it up and inside is where you put your book. I absolutely love that this one has a pocket. I can put bookmarks in here. I can put my little tabs, pens, anything, a small notebook for keeping track of the things that I've read. So the pocket is definitely useful. Shortly after that, I ordered an owl crate for the first time and I was lucky enough that inside it had a book sleeve. This is the one that I got and it is like mythical creatures themed, so there's some unicorns on it, and it's a little bit smaller than the first one I showed you, but it's by Bookbow, and I did not confirm this, so please correct me if I'm wrong, but it was my understanding that Bookbow actually started the kind of trend of book sleeves. I think this owl crate was also the first time that she mass produced them, and I was told that they're a little bit different than what she was making before. I know what I noticed was that the lip on top was a little bit tighter than the rest of the book sleeve. You're probably not going to be able to stick a hardcover in here, maybe like a really small hardcover. This one is actually the least favorite one I own, but I would have to say that it, that's strictly based on the size and the fact that it is smaller than all the other ones. So Etsy ended up being kind of my go-to place to look for book sleeves and I spent hours looking for designs that I really liked and I didn't really mean designs with the patterns but the print that was on the fabric. And as much as I love the ones from Story Hero, her selection wasn't huge. So there were only like two or three that I loved. Some were nice but didn't really resonate with me. So I figured at this point I had two book sleeves, I kind of stopped looking and no big deal. One day I was on Instagram, you know, doing my bookstagram thing, kind of checking out pictures and books and stuff, and I saw that there was somebody on there posting pictures of their book sleeves. I fell in love, absolutely fell in love. She had actually just started making them and she wasn't even at a point where she was selling them, but the one that she showed was this grumpy cat Halloween themed one and I was participating in a readathon and I was like, oh my God, that would make the perfect prize. So I wrote to her on Instagram and I was like, how much would you like for that? I need that one, that one, just send me that one doesn't have to be perfect. It's cool. It's perfect as it is. Please just send it to me. And from there on, I ended up purchasing a lot of other book sleeves for her. But before I get into the other ones, I do want to show you this one that I used as a prize for the Halloween readathon. It's Grumpy Cat, as you can see, and he's dressed up in all sorts of little costumes. I thought it was adorable. And what's really cool is that different from other book sleeves that I've seen, she also puts in matching fabric. And you know, it, it matches maybe based on theme, maybe based on color, maybe they just complement each other. Whereas other book sleeves usually have like a plain inside. Um, all the ones that I bought from her, Bookish Creations, and I'm gonna link to everything down in the description below, but everything I bought from her has an awesome inside as well as the outside. And I just feel like that's such a, a personal and additional touch and it just kind of raises it above some of the other more traditional book sleeves I've seen. So after I bought the Grumpy Cat one, I placed a second order with her for two more book sleeves and these are for myself. One is Game of Thrones themed, which I absolutely loved. On the inside, it's white with black arrows on it. 
This book sleeve has the sigil from three different houses. We have House Targaryen, we have Stark, and then Lannister. <laughs> Almost forgot there. The second one that I purchased in this shipment <laughs> is Beauty and the Beast themed. And the fabric has different stained glass scenes from Beauty and the Beast. The inside of this one is blue and it has a little bit of gold flaking inside it. It's like light blue, dark blue, kind of looks like a night sky with some gold flake in it. I love it. It matches the rest of the book sleeve perfectly. Please ignore any cat hair you might see if you purchase one of these. Yours won't have cat hair unless you let your cats lay all over them. So now at this point, she's kind of gotten into a groove. She started selling them. She set up her website and I purchased another one. This one is Harry Potter themed. Now she's adding tags to it, bookiscreations.com. And you may or may not have seen this fabric before, but it's Aramine, Ron, Aramine, Aramine. It's Ron, oh my God. <laughs> it's Aramine, Harry, and Ron in black and white on the fabric. Inside, this one is black, but it has stars and crescent moons in gold. And the last book sleeve I purchased from Bookish Creations, well, the last for now, there might be a couple more incoming, maybe, is this one. I absolutely love the colors on it. It has a quote that says, not all who wander are lost, which is from Lord of the Rings. And inside it has white with feathers in it. They are not just a single piece of fabric. They do have padding in them. So, you know, if it gets tossed around a little bit, your pages, your corners, they won't get beat up. And that's the best part. So this is my hardcover copy of Fangirl. And it fits in here perfectly with a little bit of space too. So again, like I mentioned in the beginning, these are a little bit larger. You can probably put a small iPad or tablet in there. It's really up to you, but it's a pretty cool looking protective case. If book sleeves are new to you, please be sure to share this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.